Oh, is it filming? All right, <laughs> what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Right, so uh, we've got the pickup on the road, the uh, Mark 1 Ford Ranger. Um, just a quick update really. We fitted the uh, waterfed pole system in for now so that I can carry on working. I've just obviously strapped it in safely with some beefy ratchet straps. Uh, we've got a 400 litre flat tank. We've got a electric hose reel, which is homemade actually. Check out one of my other videos. You can see how I made this. Um, this is basically the same as Waterworks' is old hose reels pretty much. It's the same hose reel. You can buy this hose reel from Oh, where is it? Um, uh, what's it called? The Window Cleaning Warehouse. I do believe sell it. There's a few other places that sell it as well. Then you've got an electric scooter motor. You've got your chain set and your sprockets from electric scooter stuff. You can buy all that on eBay. Uh, if you have a look on eBay, type in electric scooter. You can find various size sprockets, chains, um, your motor down there. It's just a case of making a plate up to bolt to the front to mount your motor make it so it's adjustable so that you can adjust your chain i got a video on that which is probably a little bit better than that so if you want to check that out uh so yeah there's the system in it for now but the plan is obviously this is going to be uh for wheelie bin cleaning as well so i'm probably going to tag this video as uh wheelie bin cleaning machine project because i think it's probably going to suit sort of the uh, guys that have got wheelie bin cleaning setups that want to do a DIY truck, maybe haven't got the money or are just starting out, don't want to spend the money on a proper beefy system. Though I'd always advise if you've got the money and you're doing well guys, just go out and buy a setup, it's easier. I haven't personally got that kind of money for a setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilise these bolting points here that's these are absolutely solid obviously they're made for strapping stuff down on the truck so i know they're strong yeah they're not going anywhere so what we're going to do is we're going to get we've got one two three four five five bolting points so we're going to get five lengths of five foot box section um width from there same to the other side is five foot so five foot box section with some flat plate welded to the edge where they're going to bolt to there so that'll give us five box section runs to start our framework from. So what we'll do then is this tank is going to be butted up to there. Because obviously this truck's got to do window cleaning and bin cleaning. So if you guys are wanting to build bin cleaning setups, you're probably going to do it slightly different to me. Or hey, if you're just starting out and you want to offer window cleaning as well, maybe this will help you out. So put that, it's going to go to there. The frame, you can have your five posts, one, two, three, four, five box section rails across. Then I'm going to weld in framework, which is going to grapple this tank so this can't move. Uh, and then from the box section rails here to here, this way is where our bin catch tray is going to be. And we're going to have a hydraulic ram coming down somewhere here, which is going to pull a bin lift. We're going, to have a, we're going to have a double bin lift there, which should be able to lift commercial bins as well. Um, probably will be able to lift commercial bins as well. But at minimum, it's going to lift two standard wheelie bins up uh, to sort of this angle, as you know, on a lot of wheelie bin systems. You're going to have your catch tray along here. It's all going to be cladded with checker plate, so it's going to look really tidy when it's done. Um, you're going to have your drip tray there. I haven't decided whether I'm just going to have a waste tank in this space which I can then dump the water when I'm done for the day, or whether I'm going to have a small holding tank uh, with a bunch of filters and a pump, which is going to recycle the water. So obviously we'd probably go through, we'd catch the water on, on a mesh grid to begin with, so any big bits would be caught on that. Then I'm thinking of going for a 300 micron filter, which is going to, which is going to basically catch anything big, I'd have thought so. And then we're going to probably have a little small holding tank and then we're going to pump it directly from that tank through, say, a DI vessel once the water's got no bits in it. And then that'll clean it right up again to go back into the recycled tank. Now we're going to have a 250 litre flat tank on the top of here. It's all going to be welded and frameworked in, so it's all going to be 100% safe. There's going to be box section bars everywhere, so... 
uh, and my actual wind cleaning hose reels probably going to be around here so we're going to have one this side and possibly one the other side so uh, stay tuned guys anyway Hi darling You got room for a fatty today? Bloody hell he's good to me Look at that space and the garage doors even open Or is that because you got a customer come in? Me Feeling the love today I got a new camera today. Oh, yeah, you got a new yeah. Phone, I got a new phone. Yeah, I'm wondering. Uh, looking at the footage already. I mean, flipping it. Look at this, guys. Look on the screen. Nice that, isn't it? Yeah. Shows all the so stuff more, no? What are you on? <laughs> Finishing wrapping up this thing, are you? Yeah. You got a video coming out on this at some point, haven't you? Yeah, I might call it. Um, Saab Conversions SOS. <laughs> Saab Conversions SOS, yeah. right. Okay. Right, for you guys that are here for the uh, bin cleaning slash window cleaning truck project, I bought a uh, 250 litre water tank and I got some steel. We've already got a 400 litre tank in there, so there we go, we've got some steel. Gary's providing a really, really nice welder. Yeah. But if you guys want to do it at home, you can just go on eBay and buy an inverter welder. I'm just lucky that my yeah, good friend. Huh? Don't come here. Yeah, don't come here. Because <laughs> you won't let anyone else in here. <laughs> Fair play, mate. Yeah. I need to do some running. No, if I right. did some, if I did some running, I wouldn't need this thing to haul my fat butt around. White men can't run. No. <laughs> right. I don't know. I don't know what the saying is. Anyway, so the plan is, I'm going to push this tank further up to the bulkhead here, put a bit of block of wood in there just to stop that snagging or kinking, whatever you want to call it. So um, then we're going to weld some of this framework that we've got over there, which will be framework from these bars here. Because obviously these are a good structural point of the truck, they're solid, they're what's used to strap heavy loads down on the vehicle. So that's what we'll use to secure this. As you can see I had a temporary uh, setup from what I showed you before as well. Um, this is what I'm using at the moment just to keep the window cleaning going. I've been putting a sheet over this at night so that it doesn't get wet, the pump and stuff. Obviously we'll do a much better job of that as time goes on but it's an ongoing project. So uh, you're probably wondering at this point where I'm gonna put that. I may have already mentioned it in a previous bit of footage, but that's a 250 litre flat line tank. So once this tank's further over that way, that's gonna be predominantly the window cleaning tank because that's what I'm gonna be using more water for. Obviously you guys that are um, setting out just for bin cleaning um, can adopt some of these ideas, but it's gonna be different for you. You're not gonna be trying to factor in window cleaning with bin cleaning, are you? So, You'd probably just be using that tank for your pressure washer and maybe you'd use that tank for a uh, catch tank for, say, the uh, wastewater maybe. You'd have a drain tray there and maybe a pump that pumps it back into that tank. I don't know, however way you want to do it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be mounting that tank on the top of this tank. So you'll have the framework coming over there, as you'll see shortly, and the tank. this tank's going to be this way. Um, opposite way to this and then I'm hoping to mount my hose reel somewhere here and then the actual bin system it's gonna leave all the room for the bin system at the back there so we're gonna have a hydraulic ram uh, there over that side and you're gonna have your bin lift on the back so trade in your ratchet traded in my normal 3.8 <coughs> this one that's tidy. Yeah. It's like a swivel one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, look at that. You can angle it, so whatever. Angler the dangle. Yeah. I'm liking it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we started putting our rails in. Now, guys, before you slate me, you know I'm a window cleaner, not a welder, but that's not too bad. I always say that, don't I? <laughs> 
but uh, yeah these welds ain't too bad there's penetration there this ain't gonna be going anywhere like I say they're not they're not the prettiest of welds but so that's our first two rails sort of in semi uh, let's crack on with the rest of it so we're just measuring up and squaring up the top tank obviously I don't want that to be skew with so there we go that's how the top tank framework is gonna be it's just the beginning of it so a bit of a change of plan as always I, I try and plan these little builds that I do but I find it hard because as you're doing it you always think of better ways to do things so obviously if I'm stood here to clean the bins which are going to be here I'm going to have my wash bay there the bin lift there and obviously your bins are going to be jet washing so you're leaning in to jet wash them I do believe I've got enough room to put this hose reel side mounted there so that I can pull it out at that angle rather than them being in here like that because I can use this space for so many other things um, I'm going to be probably carrying a gutter vac uh, and maybe a generator so this space is going to be so usable to put a generator and uh, my gutter vac system that I've got to put that in obviously the whole point of this truck is it's going to be a full exterior cleaning truck we're going to be able to do everything we need to do with this truck ranging from window cleaning pressure washing bin cleaning gutter cleaning so uh, yeah and uh, the reason I picked this truck is obviously because it sits nice and low uh, I don't want one that's right up in the air because I'm only short I'm not gonna be able to reach anything also they're a simple truck anyone that knows these trucks knows that you know everything's simple to work on they don't even have a proper cam belt the cam belt on this truck is for the uh, diesel pump it doesn't act you know if the cam belt snaps on this all that will happen is you, your truck ain't gonna start so the engines are simple they've got a mechanical fuel pump there's no ECU that controls ev anything on it so they're so easy to work on no turbo systems on it only rear wheel drive i you know i don't work around many lanes i don't go that far into the hills and obviously a lot of people if they're working down um you know up in the mountains and stuff they're, they're gonna need a four by four for the winter but me not so much so rear wheel drive's fine for me that's less to go wrong as far as i'm concerned so i thought about framing this right the way over so building a frame or some rails that go right the way over the whole tank but then I thought well that's kind of silly because as it stands at the moment if I ever want this frame off the truck for any reason whatsoever I need to get to that tank underneath all I've actually got to do is undo all of these Torx bolts along this and this whole thing will lift off anyway so the problem I've got is if I put a frame over there it's just it's just more work to get it off so in actual fact what I'll probably do is I'm obviously going to weld these brackets in there which stop this tank from moving with them welded in that tank's never going to never going to shunt forward with those in in a million years um, and what I'm going to do is probably weld some anchor points here here or just one in the middle and we'll put a securing strap we'll put one of these heavy duty ratchet straps over the top of that that's one of the ideas I've got I'm not 100% set on it yet but that could be what we'll do with it so we're just putting some upright posts in there now. Uh, those are going to grapple the tank and stop it from going that way. They're going to be welded into all this framework. Um, and we're going to make some flat plate grips out of this flat plate here, which are going to come down there and just grip the back of that. So there's a tank sat back on the top of it now with the framework. It's coming on quite nice to be honest. It's almost like a uh, scaffolded frame for water tanks. Ooh, camera wobble. So I'm still deciding whether to put a bar over the top and weld it or whether to strap it. Ah, oh, choices, choices, choices. So uh, we're just making the framework that's gonna go around the hose reel, because obviously this hose reel is electric. We don't want it out in the rain. We don't want the chain and the motor getting soaked. So obviously we're creating an enclosure for it, which is all gonna be part of the truck. 
the part of the framework which is bolted to it. It's a little bit more done. So there's the framework for the hose reel set up on the side done. Obviously that's going to be cladded with something. I haven't decided what yet. Probably maybe checker plate, maybe pro probably checker plate to be honest. Uh, and a little lid on the top of it or roof should we say uh, it's probably going to have the same sort of thing on the other side but I'll make build that at a later date when we fit a second hose reel so for now that'll be fine uh, the engine and the pressure washer is going to be located somewhere in that region probably from the other side because obviously we've got to fill in a hole there for the tank yeah I'm quite happy about this is turning out so far um, the frame is really rigid, it don't, it's not going anywhere, it's solid. So, uh, yeah, there we have it. There you go. So obviously there'll be a hose reel on the other side eventually, once we can afford one, for Dad to use, which will be there, with the same kind of thing. But. get the general gist how it's going to be so this all needs cladding properly on the top sides and everything just to save the hose reel getting wet it's all welded here so um, we're gonna have a, probably like I said another port on the side there which I've started doing the framework for that um, it might be a while before I put another hose wheel there, as I was saying, but we've made a start with the framework on this. Uh, probably going to wrap this video up here now. I'm not, not even sure how long this video is, but as you can see, the setup's coming on quite nicely. I'm quite happy with how it's coming on. Um, it's just going to be a one-off machine, really, customised to my requirements. So um, if you like what you're seeing, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, drop a comment down below with your thoughts on it um, a lot of this is going to be checker plate cladded when it's done as I've said probably a couple of times already I'm taking separate bits of footage so I do apologize if I'm repeating myself so what we'll probably do is this will be checker plate along here I may even have a sign on there um, possibly our vehicle livery might be on there for the services that we offer um, and I'm probably going to have a filling port section as well so rather than having to go through these lids I'm probably going to have some sort of port in the check plate with some quick release fittings um, like I say this is just framework at the moment uh, once this is all fully built all framed up uh, and cladded it's really going to look, look the boy to be honest the only bit that's going to be open um, not sure what I'm going to do about that yet but is this um, I don't know whether to put like a little a little opening door on there or uh, probably won't leave it open because the controllers are going to be there but we'll figure something out with that uh, not 100% decided but there you go guys that's how it's that's how it's coming anyway cheers for watching see you next episode